focused on you. Right now, we are in a weather alert because we're expecting widespread rain this evening and overnight. Just 20 minutes ago, the Missouri Botanical Garden announced tonight's Garden Glow is canceled because of the weather. If you have tickets for that event, you can use them for another night. Thanks for being here at 4. I'm Kay Quinn. The rain is also a nuisance for those getting an early start on Thanksgiving travel. Peak holiday travel time is less than 48 hours away, and so many of you will be heading to the highways and airports soon. Chief Meteorologist Scott Connell is here with the weather first forecast. And Scott, hopefully this is moving out soon, the timeline. The timeline is going to be good for those of us traveling on Wednesday in general, certainly within an easy day's drive of St. Louis. But driving this evening could be problematic at times because we have not seen much in the way of rain this month. And because of that, the amount of oil and grease that builds up on the roads, it's higher than usual. Mix some rain in with that, and we're talking about slick conditions developing. Right now, not a lot of rain in the immediate metro. St. Charles right now looking at an overcast sky at this point. But the rain is getting closer to us, and as it builds in, that means our roads will get a bit slicker. Everything is just rain all above freezing. The main area has been in southeast Missouri and just west of St. Louis, but now we're starting to see that fill in a little bit into parts of St. Louis County. This is going to impact Highway 4064, down 44. You're already seeing it from Valley Park down to Pacific to St. Clair. Slick roads in these areas, again, back through Saint, Western St. Charles County and into Warren County along I-70. It'll spread into Illinois as we head through the evening. Again, that combination of rain that increases in intensity and the oil and grease buildup creating some slick roads, and it'll be a bit breezy this evening. We'll keep you updated as we work through the evening. No severe weather expected in our part of the world, but slick roads definitely something we'll deal with this evening. OK, we'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you, Scott. St. Louis desperately needs the rain, but damaging winds and storm are forecast throughout the south and Gulf Coast during a week. Travelers just don't need it. Laura Aguirre has more about how the roads and airports will be affected so close to Thanksgiving. Travelers should be checking with their airline directly for the most up-to-date information about their flights. Solid advice whenever you're flying, but even more important this week. Severe weather across large parts of the U.S. threatened to snarl holiday travel plans. Powerful rainstorms over areas of the central U.S. are rolling toward the Midwest. And thunderstorms over parts of the Gulf and southern regions could bring tornadoes, damaging winds, and large hail throughout Monday night. To navigate the impact on air travelers, the National Weather Service is positioning meteorologists at 22 FAA centers. They provide down to the minute weather predictions for exact arrival and departure routes in the busiest parts of the U.S. airspace. The Department of Transportation says it's been working closely with airlines to ease the cost of trip delays on travelers. Now almost all of them guarantee hotels and ground transportation and all of them guarantee covering meals. If your flight gets canceled or significantly delayed for any reason, I want the traveling public to know that you are entitled to a full cash refund if you choose to take that refund rather than a rebooking. And that's good news given forecasters predict by Tuesday rain and snow could be hampering air and highway travel across large parts of the Midwest, New England and East Coast from D.C. to Atlanta. We will be using every tool at our disposal to keep cancellations and delays as low as possible. I'm Laura Aguirre for Five on Your Side. Now for those driving to their destination, gas prices are dropping. In fact, experts predict the cheapest Thanksgiving gas since 2020 when prices plunged due to the pandemic. According to Gas Buddy, the average national price per gallon could hit 325 by Thursday. A look around the metro finds the Sam's in Maplewood has some of the cheapest gas going for 268 a gallon. Expect to pay an average of 303 a gallon in the St. Louis area. On the Illinois side, the average gallon of gas is around 348. An officer involved shooting in a Carlinville hospital parking lot leaves one person with life threatening injuries. Police say the shooting happened after an officer tried to pull over the driver of a stolen car. Five on your side's Diamond Palmer spent the day in Carlinville about an hour from St. Louis in Macoupin County. She joins us in studio with more Diamond.
OK, police pulled over the suspect and he pointed a gun at uh, the officer. They say that officer then shot the suspect, leaving him with life threatening injuries. Now this all started around 545 Sunday night when a license plate reading system notified police of a stolen car. It said a man was driving into Carlinville armed and dangerous inside of a stolen car. Officers pulled him over in the parking lot of the Carlinville area hospital and after the driver pulled out his gun, an officer shot him. The hospital went into lockdown during this incident and no hospital staff or patients were involved in this shooting. Now the Carlinville Police Department asked the Illinois State Police to help with this investigation and they say the case is open and ongoing and they will not release the suspect's name or current condition to quote maintain the integrity of the investigation. All right, thank you, Diamond. A Belleville man is dead following a shooting on the Stan Musial Bridge. Police say Troy Edwards was driving an SUV on I-70 eastbound from Missouri when someone started shooting from a nearby vehicle. This happened just after 10 last night. Edwards died there. He was 35 years old. A passenger in his car was taken to a hospital but is expected to recover. Investigators are looking for the shooter. Four people are without a home right now after escaping a fire in Cahokia Heights. Flames broke out around 2 a.m. at a mobile home on Garden Street. Four adults were in the home at the time. No one was hurt. The fire chief says an RV on the property was in the driveway when it caught fire and flames then spread to the mobile home. The people who live there now have to find another place to stay. This is Transgender Day of Remembrance, and a vigil is about to get underway in St. Louis. Metro Umbrella Trans Group is hosting a candlelight vigil in March. It starts at 4.30. The events honor those lost to transphobic violence. It all takes place at the Metro Trans Umbrella Group Community Center. That's at 3133 Oregon Avenue. Following the candlelight vigil, there will be a march to the Transgender Memorial Garden. Today, the United Auto Workers Union announced employees at each of the big three automakers officially ratified new contracts. The union says 64% of employees at Ford, Stellantis and General Motors voted to accept the deals following a six week strike. The new contract will give union workers an immediate pay increase of 11% and a total pay increase of 25% over four and a half years. Union members at the GM plant in Wentzville voted against the new deal. Contracts will last until 2028. Well, hours ago, the St. Louis Cardinals made their first signing of the offseason, and he's an old friend. Starting pitcher Lance Lynn just signed a one year deal with the team. According to ESPN, the deal is for $10 million, and USA Today reports he'll also get up to $3 million in performance bonuses. Lynn previously played for St. Louis from 2011 to 2017 and has since pitched for five other teams. The Cardinals haven't formally announced the deal yet, pending a physical. The team also announced former Cardinals infielder Daniel Descalso will join the coaching staff as bench coach in 2024. The team's last bench coach, Joe McEwing, is moving on to be a special assistant for the president of baseball operations, John Moselock. Descalso was on the team from 2010 to 2014 and played in the World Series for the Cardinals twice during that time. He played for three other teams after leaving the Cardinals. Precious Cargo, an update on the more than two dozen infants whose lives were in danger in a Gaza hospital. Iceland on edge. Residents run for safety from a town where huge cracks are appearing in the ground and a volcano could erupt at any time. 